Hey, Ronnie here, fourwheelingwestonaustralia.com. What are we doing? We are going to do sand recovery with a winch. We're going to make our own anchor points. So people have always asked me this question, so let's do it. And we're not going to just do it with a tire, we're going to try multiple things. So first we're going to start with the classic tire burial, 35 inch tire. Dylan's over there digging a hole as we speak. Right here, a high lift jack. A lot of people carry these, so I thought, let's try and bury one and see if it works. And then finally, we have the dead man off-road. Ah! This thing here designed to be buried in the ground and it got all these straps so you can hook your winch up to. So, I mean, it's also for other things as well. Like uh, you can use it as a tree trunk pr protector, which I've used it for just to test it out. Just spooling the winch in. Um, use it around rocks, all kinds of things. But I believe this is mainly designed for a sand recovery on a beach. So we'll test these three things and see how we go. And uh, fingers crossed because the tide is in fact coming in and I'm quite bogged. Well, purposely bogged, but I'm really bogged because we purposely bogged it. Let's get into it. So I did initially think about using a small tire, like a 31, but I decided, you know, let's keep this realistic. I have 35s. I'm going to use 35s. The hole is going to be substantial in size. So if we can do this with a 35, you can do it with any size tire pretty much, below a 35 at least. Hope that hole is big enough. Ah, oh, you want to put a, hole, a tire in there? Yeah, cheers bro. <laughs> so while I've been digging this hole and slugging my guts out, I think it's time to take my boots off and throw this tire in. What do you reckon, Wayne? Oh yeah, pull the hard work, eh? Hey? Oh, don't you talk about hard work. Dylan's <laughs> behind the camera now, he was digging before. Oh. Tell you what, digging in sand is uh, pretty hard work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is, especially when it keeps collapsing in. So that's probably your number one issue, is the, the sand's gonna keep collapsing in while you're trying to dig. I think a smaller tyre would definitely be the go. Smaller tyre, yeah, but if you got 35s, you've got 35s. Oh yeah, yeah you're not going to carry a, yeah. a 31 with you, <laughs> just what it is. So what Wayne's saying is don't get 35s. So we are trying two different methods of wrapping this tyre. We're going to wrap it around the top on the first attempt, and we'll do another attempt regardless if this wins or fails, and we'll wrap it around the bottom. Now I think the bottom will be better, but let's see how attempt number one goes. I'm six foot one, we are about waist tight. I'm going to try and get out without collapsing anything. This is a fun part. Use the strap to put them upright again. And now we're going to bury the tyre. Let's do it. One tip, use the wet sand down the bottom first. Because it's more dense. A lot of work involved in this. Don't worry, you don't have to watch this dig all day. Okay, a couple of things I want to show you here. Now, I'm going to mention it on the first one, the first attempt we're doing here. I'm not going to mention it on the other attempts, just so you don't have to watch the same thing over and over. So, I have a Factor 55 uh, winch hook here, which I bought from the US. Uh, this is a new type of winch hook that doesn't have the sharp Kelvin edge, but there is a slight problem with them. Thick straps like the good quality ones, like the big brands have, they won't fit in here. But there's a solution. Instead of using a, a bow shackle or D-ring, like the guys in the US call them, we use a soft shackle. This is a this is from the States as well. This is a gator, a gator thing, I think. Gator? Yeah, gator, gator jaw. So there we go. 
all hooked up. Now, most recovery kits, even all the good brands, only give you one of these. I think that's wrong. You should have two. So what I did was I asked ARB for two when they um, gave me that recovery bag because you need two. So to just all the big brands out there, just put two in your recovery kits because one is not enough. So on the line, most people put it in the middle. I put one at this end because that's where the projectile is and I put one at the opposite end. Um, but not all the way up to the line at the opposite end. Uh, another purpose these serve, because I know a few people are gonna go, well, this rope won't come flying at me. Well, there might be kinetic energy at another end that force can, can be transferred through. So, um, you should still have them on. And another reason why to have them on is you may have seen some videos on YouTube where someone's done a recovery with a wire line across the road, some poor bastards come past on a motorbike and got cleaned up. So these will indicate that there's something going through the air. You know, it'd be like a clothesline. Clothes don't magically hang in the air. Everyone knows there's a line there. So that's what they're for. Let's go try it out. Hopefully it works, because we did a lot of work to get here. <laughs> We are testing out if this works, but let's be realistic about it. If you're gonna pull yourself out of any situation, you should really make it the least effort for your vehicle and your winch as possible, which is what I'm doing now. I'm digging a bit of a ramp, as anyone should anyway. The shovel is always the first port of call with any sand recovery, or any recovery for that matter. Taking up slack. All right, is it moving, boys? Looks like the tire's coming up. Tire's not in the hole anymore. Well, that didn't work, did it? <laughs> Alright, so it failed, but we're trying something different. Instead of pulling from the top, which I kind of had doubts about, um, but we thought we tried anyway. We now have a slightly deeper hole, not that much deeper, and we've wrapped it around like before. However, we come back through again through the middle with the loop. So it's kind of uh, one and a half times wrapped now, and it's going to pull from this angle. So now it's pulling the bottom up against the wall in the bottom. That's the theory we're going with. And we dug a bit of a trench, so we have a directional pull. Um, we'll try that. Oh, my well, hat! All right, gents, we're ready to try again. This uh, tide is coming back up beyond here. There you go. Winching in. Try and drive at the same time. It's working. That tire is not going anywhere. Working boys. That's working all up late. We keep stalling it up. It must be really bombed. You were out. Success. Happy. So there you go. It is possible and um, this is really soft sand. Uh, yes, we did rig it up wrong the first time, but I've seen other people demonstrate this and all they do is bog the rear of the car. Like, I was fair bogged there, like, I kept stalling trying to drive, and, uh, yeah, it works. As you can see here, 
it's gold to the tyre. We have to let some air out to get the strap off. That's how much there's tension on it here. So hopefully it doesn't destroy my tyre. We'll find out. Oh man, this wind is ridiculous, eh? Alright, hole lift jack time. Alright, it's now or never. What do you reckon, Wayne? We're gonna get this one? I What's your so. tip? First go? I reckon, yeah. I'm a bit worried about the rope. I'm less confident in this. <laughs> I'm less confident. <laughs> we have a file. 100% fail. <laughs> well, that didn't work, did it? Wayne's winch has died. Dead. No more. I've taken his spot. I bogged myself down. Now, I bogged myself down as if I don't have lockers. If I put my lockers in, I'll drive straight out of that. So I'm not going to engage my lockers when we uh, try and pull this out and uh, we'll see if attempt number two works. Nah, that's a fail. That's a definite fail. High lift jack. No go. Dylan just pointed out the jack is bent. But it still works. That said, I'm not going to use this anymore. This is way too dangerous now. So let's have a moment silence for the uh, high lift. This thing has done a lot of service. Has helped my previous vehicles out many times. All right, let's move on to the dead man. <laughs> Now time for the dead man. So this bit of recovery gear here is going to pull this heavy Land Cruiser out. I've seen it work, but still, like, it's hard to fathom that's, that's actually going to work considering what happened to the high lift jack and so forth and what we had to do with that spare tyre. Um, so before we, uh, before we go any further, Dylan is digging a hole behind us. But this is hands down the best pamphlet I have ever seen for a piece of recovery kit. Dead man. An object buried or secured to the ground for the purpose of providing anchorage or leverage. Then we have their, their description. Or a fantastic travel partner, the strong, silent type, able to adapt to any given situation. Right, so right now we're going to dig a hole and uh, we need to go about four foot deep so about 30 inches uh, going by this pamphlet now the guys who developed this had a tacoma around the same weight as my vehicle on 35s so we'll try a 30 inch hole and see how that works uh, 30 inches will be converted on your screen because i'm not sure what that converts to let's get to it so dylan Dug is about an 800 millimeter hole, just short of a meter. <laughs> so there we're there. Holy crap! All right, let's get this dead man in. Get in there. I'm going to put it upside down. Makes sense to put it upside down. Like that. Yeah, here yeah. we go. And Dylan has no idea what's about to happen. I'll just get a neat 
go a bit closer to the edge. Just neaten that end up. Yeah, just to see if you can um, just pat the bottom down there. Just squat down and see if you can pat it. Gonna have to be like this. The dead man is in the ground. We have put a load of sand on it. So from the instructions, we've got to hog tie this thing. So now I've got my second gator strap out through the first two. These are the back legs of the dead man. And these are the front arms, which we are going to put through the gator strap like this. And then another gator strap here. Loop it through like so. Connect the winch. Safety blankets on. She's all ready to go. We didn't need the uh, tree trunk protector or anything. We are relying on basically two soft shackles, the dead man itself, and the winch line. Let's see how we go. So we decided to make sure that we were completely bogged, just like before, and this time we are not using shovel as pre-work. Was that conclusive? Was that conclusive? I'm gonna bog again. When I, when I popped out, I just popped out. Yeah. I mean, it's just a hole I'm popping out of. And um, I didn't put the lockers in. I put the lockers in to bog myself, but not when they come out, so yeah. It's, it's like having a drink. It works as good as a tyre, yeah. if not better, it's actually. Not better. Probably easier to dig as well. Now we're gonna get it out. Yeah. What do you reckon? We just hook it up to the back legs and pull it that way? I think, yeah, they can do that, yeah. Just roll it out. And if there was any doubt on this thing actually working, check this out. We're using just two of the arms and it's pulling my vehicle. I've got my foot on the brakes. Alright, 
right, well that's uh, pretty much the end of this video. The boys are right now digging. They have to dig to get a dead man out of the ground. Um, I'm pretty impressed. We tried pulling it out from the back legs, the front arms. <laughs> we have to dig to get it out. I am so surprised, I've got to, I've got to be honest, because when I first, we are going to try and do this and we dug the hole, I honestly didn't think it was going to work. But wow, I'm impressed. That's definitely going to be part of my recovery gear. I'm not sponsored by these guys. I asked them to send me one and I was lucky enough to get one sent. Um, wow, awesome stuff, guys. Anyway, um, thanks for watching the video. Put down below in the description below, or it's in the comments, what you would like to see us use next time. Now, one thought sprung to mind while we did this, and was to bury some Max tracks side on in the ground and try and winch off those. Um, the other idea was a log, uh, like a, a thicker log, like a green log, like a live tree cut down, buried in the ground. Um, but look, I'd like to hear what you guys have to say and what other ideas you guys might come up with. So thanks for watching uh, this video. You can subscribe and you can support the creation of videos like this at patreon.com slash Thanks again for watching another video down there. See you guys next time.